it's David from Redneck Garage. I thought I'd give you a couple updates of what's going on, where we're going, what's going to happen soon. Driving down the road, going to work on a car. Um, make a key for it. Yeah, so this is what the weather looks like outside today. It's kind of rainy and wet. And yuck. It's about, let's see, how cold is it? 42 degrees. 42, so it's not cold enough to snow having to make keys for this police car where the guy cat lost his keys for his car <laughs> won't be giving out any tickets today till i give him a key okay so here's what i was running to in my van in the back of course there's no side windows or anything over here <clears throat> you got a little bit of light coming through the front but this is my pinning kit and where i do all my locksmith work um you know sitting in the back of the van and uh, so it was pretty stupid dark. So I had these LEDs in here, but they were like not very bright. So I went ahead and bought one of these spotlights that you put on the front of a truck. And it's aluminum housing and it's pretty cool. And look at the light that comes out of this booger. And let me find the switch. That thing, man, let me tell you. It's LED, uses low light. Versus these are the ones I put in here and I could not see anything with these low light LEDs man This thing is smoking bright as far as like being able to see inside the truck and uh, That thing worked out great I just put it across the brace across the front there and man if you need some light in the back of a van like this This thing it does get a little warm But let me tell you this thing is really super as far as like illuminating the back of the truck now I got a wire in my wiring here that's just clipped on but it doesn't has a real low draw compared to like some kind of incandescent spotlight you could use so that's what I did in the back and uh, you can really see you know what you're working on but anyway I've been searching for a car on Craigslist uh, a for a backup unit for my business uh, I was been looking for a caravan and then B been looking for a car for my middle son who's 15 now and he's got his learner's permit and uh, I'm gonna have another video just on Craigslist and what to watch out for and those scammer artists man there's some stories I can tell you which I will tell you that'll be interesting won't it uh, so anyway I'm looking around last night and I see this car on Craigslist uh, right here in my own town So obviously he's asking like 1600 bucks for it, which uh, I was like, no. And I booked this thing out and it's like around a $5,000 car if it was in pretty decent shape. Five to, I've seen at dealerships, they're asking like six or seven. Okay, so not bad. So anyway, I text the cat last night and he finally gets back to me about 11 o'clock and said, uh, yeah, I got the car still, I wrecked it, it runs good. Uh, the radiator's not hit, uh, condenser's not hit and uh, it runs and drives. And I'm like, okay, that's a bonus. And I start checking, making sure that, that the Corolla is a one that you can actually get a lot of aftermarket parts for. So it's not a weird, like a Subaru, um, you know, I'm a teacher at your local high school, that kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about. Um, that's who drives Subarus. They, uh... So anyway, the interior looked nice. It's got like a hundred and I can't tell 130,000 miles on it. Should be a decent little first car for my middle son uh, and a great project for me to get going on something. So anyway, I talked to him and I say, hey, Kat, um, I know you're asking 16 and then you said you take 12. I said, I said, I got a thousand dollars cash if I come by tomorrow. Uh, how about that? And he came back and said, yeah. So next thing we're gonna do is go get the car, bring it back to the Redneck Garage park it in the driveway so the neighbors are happy that there's another wrecked car out there <laughs> Tim and Liz are good you know I love them to death so that's awesome and that's what we're going to be looking at today is the new uh, Toyota Corolla 2005 wrecked vehicle what what it takes to get that thing back on the road and maybe save some money along the way we'll see I've got a huge story about uh, the the tires on my MV200 that I had a complaint video on, that's going to be, that was really a cool story. And it involves meeting at the corporate headquarters of Nissan and uh, JK Tire, the people that did that. So that video, hopefully by this weekend, I'll have that up. That one's really a cool story. That video is coming up. Uh, got a lot going on. I'm David from Redneck Garage. Stay tuned. Keep turning wrenches.